Hi guys, you're watching Timo Tales Reviews on the Run. This episode is going to be for five iPhone accessories that you just might like. On today's episode, we're going to go over three different lightning cables, a battle of the lightning cables to determine which lightning cable is the best purchase for you. This will be a, a battle for the ages. Next, we're going to go over an external powering pack that you can use with your iPhone or other accessories that I put to the test. And we'll get to and that. Last but not least, we're going to go over a telephoto lens that you attach to your iPhone to bring those faraway images just a little bit closer. So let's get started with the Apple Lightning Cable Review. Before I begin, for those of you who say, I want nothing but the best, I want only Apple made products, you can go ahead and go to apple.com, look at their Lightning Cable, which is priced at $19 plus tax plus shipping, and go ahead and purchase that if you'd like. For the rest of us that want to look at other options, this review is for you. Record, I would never buy anything other than an Apple product. Only Apple products are made with precision, quality, and will last. Yeah, but I, on the other hand, have no problem saying that anybody that's willing to spend $25 to $30 for a genuine Apple Lightning cable probably has some sort of inferiority complex. Well, anyhow, uh, let's get started with the reviews. Battle of the Lightning Cables! First up are the HWG Lightning Cables made by HWG. I like these cables a lot. I've purchased a few of these over the years. Uh, they have the brushed aluminum tips, which are really sleek. Uh, they have nice form factor. The cable in particular is flat. It's a little bit unusual of a design, but I like it. Um, these were my favorite lightning cables up until recently. Um, I like these. The only complaint I have with these cables is the fact that when you look at the, the tips, the way it's actually it goes into the aluminum itself it tends to over time break uh, the connection breaks now that's not uncommon for charging cables uh, lightning cables for the iPhones but nevertheless uh, for longevity they're not the best that being said they're still better than their original iPhone charging cables Next, we have the AGV lightning cable, or as Amazon likes to call them. The end tip unbreakable cruel 4A current heavy duty AGV 4 pack 3 feet 1mm net not lightning cable, set charging nylon braided durable fast cord size USB, sync charging in car for Apple iPhone X 876 iPad. Okay, so these AGV cables could end up possibly being the best cables in the end, but here's why I say in the end. Right now, I don't like them as much as another cable that I'm going to show in a minute, but I do like the fact that these appear to be made very, very well. Most cables, the way they connect, and this is where they usually fail, it's when they, the way they connect at the tip, uh, where you plug it into your phone, um, they end up shorting out in that area. Uh, very seldom do they actually short out further along in the cord. It's always where you connect it, and that's where the most wear is. These cables, the way they're designed, they're extremely, extremely strong, and it's very hard to bend them at the tip. Um, the, the cable itself isn't an ugly looking cable. It's it, The form factor is just not quite there compared to some of the other cables that are available. That being said, you're using this to charge your phone and to, and to hopefully hold up for a while. And I have a feeling these cables could do that and more. Um, what's interesting is these are four of them for $12.99. Four for $12.99, so you're getting a lot of bang for the buck with these cables. And again, so far so good. I really, really like these cables. I'm pleasantly surprised. So anyhow, AGV cables, I really like them. Okay, last but not least, we have lightning cables by a company called Hoisin. Hoisin! I have to say, before I begin this review, these lightning cables were sent to me with a greatly discounted price uh, by the company so that I would review them for everybody. Um, I'm gonna say flat out, these are awesome, awesome lightning cables. Um, they look absolutely cool. Uh, they're a metallic aluminum design from the uh, uh, beginning to end. They have a really strong um, connection at the tip, again, like I was talking about earlier. These cables absolutely look cool. Um, they're very, very good quality. Uh, they have a good look and feel to them. They're premium. Uh, they come with actually a little velvet carrying case for them. I don't know why you would ever use that, but whatever. Um, these cables are by far, in a way, the best cables that I've ever purchased. And I'm saying that not because I got a great deal on them, but because they are genuinely a very, very good product. So with that, let's go ahead and add the uh, tally up and see where we're at with these cables. So when doing the overall um, assessment of these cables, we're looking at the build quality, 
the looks and the overall price, the most bang for the buck. That's what I'm looking at here. Um, and as far as the looks department is concerned, that's all a matter of your opinion. Um, I prefer the Hoisin or the HWG as far as the looks of the cable is concerned. I think that overall those are the two best looking cables. I think the Hoisin has a slight nod above the HWG. Uh, as far as durability, I actually have to give that to AgV, maybe slightly ahead of Hoisin. I think the AgV are made very, very well, but I don't like them as far as the looks is concerned. But again, that's a, a matter of opinion. Uh, and price, definitely the AgV wins over on price. Uh, the reason being is, is you get four for $12.99, so that's $3.25 per cable. Uh, the Hoisin is the most expensive, which is $6.50 per cable. Uh, $12.99 for two of them and then the HWG is kind of right in the middle but they're still only four dollars per cable that said uh, the HWG I've had those for a while they last if you're setting your device on a tabletop and you're not bending the cable around too much but however if you have kids if you're using your charging cables in your vehicle uh, you're bending the cable you put it in a position to where you're bending the cable at times um, i would go with a more durable cable honestly and after uh, reviewing all these products i have to say that i'm either going to go with hoisin or agby in the future i like the hoisin again a lot and i'm not just saying that because i got a great deal on them the hoisin are very very good cables the agby are right there behind it and again all three cables they're not bad and they're all superior i'm just going to say superior to the actual genuine apple product Apple charging cables for the money are just not worth it. Um, every Apple Lightning cable that I've had within six months ends up shorting out towards the end. Yes, you can put tape around it and try to save it for a little bit longer, but they always fail. Uh, these other charging cables to me are all made better than the Apple, especially the Hoisin and the Agby. Uh, so again, for the money, the Agby is probably the best bang for your buck. Uh, the Hoisin is my favorite overall, and the HWG still isn't bad. Either way you look at it, 650, which is the most expensive charging cable that I've just reviewed, is still a heck of a lot better than about 30 bucks after you pay for shipping and taxes and everything else. So that's it. Uh, Hoisin is my favorite. Agby's right there, and HWG is is uh, in third place in my opinion. Okay, this next product is a telephoto lens made by a company called Kia or Quia or I can't pronounce the company's name to be honest with you. Uh, but it's a lens that attaches to your phone and brings in images from further away up close. It works very similar to a lens that you would see on a digital camera. So the lens comes with a larger box with a smaller box inside of it. As you can see, there's actually a little clip that you can attach to the end. And this clip is used to where you attach it to your phone uh, to keep it in place. Uh, the lens itself is actually made of pretty decent quality plastic. It is plastic, but it's, it's good quality. It's not cheap. And it comes, of course, with lens covers and things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside and I'm going to film some shots without the lens attached to my phone. And then I'm going to go back out and I'm going to attach this. And I'm also going to include how easy it is to attach it to the phone. And we'll get an idea of what the quality is like before and after the lens is attached. So we'll do this and we'll go from there. Okay, so I'm outside right now. And I'm going to film from the same location that I'm in currently. Uh, this is without the lens attached. So I'm standing next to my swimming pool here in the backyard. Uh, swimming pool filled with a bunch of nasty debris, but whatever. Um, so I'm standing here and I'm going to attach the lens and then we're going to see how the lens looks after it's attached and how well it does zooming in. Okay, I am actually from the same location. I just attached the lens and it certainly uh, zooms in quite a bit. I can actually go, if you look, I'm gonna zoom into other places because that's much closer now, but I'm looking from quite a distance across the fence to uh, the neighbors across the street. And um, yeah, it doesn't do a half bad job. Uh, it's obviously, again, it's much closer now um, much closer with the lens attached. It's not quite the same quality that it had. Noah, are you having fun? Yes! All right. Uh, it's not quite the same quality with the iPhone lens, but 
if you're at a sporting event, um, see, I'm looking, I'm looking quite a ways away now, and um, and it really does zoom in quite well. So yeah, uh, it actually works pretty well. Okay, so the telephoto lens by Kia, Kia, however you pronounce it, uh, not a bad product. Uh, pros is that it works halfway decent. Um, it's not too terribly expensive for $15 on Amazon. Um, cons are, it's a little bit tricky to align it initially, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. Um, I can see this being perfect for somebody that doesn't have a good quality camera when on the go. Um, if you do already have a good, decent quality camera with optical zoom, um, it's really unnecessary to have this product. But otherwise, if you just occasionally want photos that you can zoom in from a distance or video, then this product works pretty good. Again, it's $15 on Amazon. I would say I'd give it a thumbs up. Okay, that's all I have for today. Um, I want to thank you for watching my video. Uh, if you can do me a favor, if you like watching my videos, please go to the lower right hand corner and subscribe. You can also like or dislike my videos. In addition, please do me a favor and leave me comments or suggestions if you have any uh, products maybe you'd like to see reviewed in the future. We have a lot of cool upcoming products that we're going to be going over and uh, I hope you continue to watch. Uh, with that, thank you very much. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.